An Indian startup company named Redon Systems has developed a loitering munition system known as the Achuk. This loitering munition system is intended to be fired from a barrel launcher that is similar to a mortar. However, it is not intended to perform the same functions as a conventional mortar shell. Instead, it serves as a launch platform for the drone, which is launched from the barrel. Now, let me break it down for you. A typical mortar shell has all those components like an impact fuse, high explosive filler, buster, propellant charges, and a detonator. When the shell hits the firing pin, the detonator activates and burns the charge, causing the explosion that pushes the shell out. On the other hand, the Achuk loitering munition system is an unmanned aerial vehicle in and of itself. The ejection mechanism could be spring-loaded pneumatic using compressed air or pyrotechnic using controlled explosions. This mechanism provides the initial propulsion to launch the UAV into the air. Once the UAV is out of the canister, its wings unfold or extend to provide stability and control during flight. It is able to attain and maintain stable flight due to the fact that it is outfitted with wings, propellers, and a small engine or motor. The UAV has a tandem layout and can be folded up so it can be launched from a canister and put together in modules. The front and back wings can be folded under the body of the plane. The tail fin can be folded forward on both sides of the body is made to be aerodynamic. Once it has reached a certain altitude, the munition will start a mode called loitering in which it will fly in loops above the battleground or a particular region. The cool thing is that it can function like a regular drone for reconnaissance, but when needed, it can transform into a cruise missile and launch kamikaze attacks on orders. This drone can carry a payload of 1.5 kg and it can operate at a height of up to 3,500 meters in temperatures ranging from minus 20 to 50 degrees Celsius. It has an impressive strike radius of 30 kilometers, so it can engage targets from quite a distance. Plus, it only takes 15 minutes to set it up and get it ready for action. And let's not forget about its advanced software. It can identify and track objects making targeting super precise. Additionally, it offers both semi-autonomous and fully autonomous modes, so operators can adjust its level of autonomy based on the mission's needs. The drone can sense the GPS coordinates of targets to the ground station in real time, which makes targeting more accurate and efficient. What's even more fascinating is that it can be launched from multiple barrels and they can even deploy it in swarms. Multiple drones working together to achieve mission objectives, that's a game changer when it comes to tackling enemy air defense systems. The swarming behavior of drones presents unique challenges for air defense systems as they are not accustomed to dealing with large numbers of small, agile, and low-cost threats operating in a coordinated manner. What about other similar systems? The Indian Air Force has already taken delivery of the first batch of indigenous ALS-50 vertical takeoff and landing loitering munitions made by Tata Advanced Systems Limited. After takeoff, the system transitions into the fixed wing mode and flies towards its target. It is equipped with an autonomous targeting system, which allows it to identify its pre-designated target and home in on it. Apart from Tata's ALS-50, other Indian defense companies in India have developed loitering munitions, such as Alfa by New Space Research, which bears a resemblance to the Achuk loitering munition. Alfa, a tube-launched loitering munition, has a service ceiling of 6 kilometers, a range of 140 kilometers, and an endurance greater than 60 minutes. With the deployment of such advanced technologies by India's startups and private defense companies like Tata Advanced Systems and Adani Group, 
India is rapidly catching up to other military powers in the region. This shows how important the private sector is in contributing to India's dream of self-reliance.